Dr. Zakir, I would call upon you to resolve one of the most common disputes in the Muslim Ummah during the month of Ramadan regarding the number of rakat that are prayed in the Taraweh or the Qiyamah Layl or the night prayer. Is it eight or should it be 20? <laughs> Our beloved Prophet said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the Book of Salah, Hadith number 472, he said that when a person asks that how should you offer the Qiyamul Layl, the Prophet said that he should offer Qiyamul Layl in two rakat, followed by two rakat, followed by two rakat, followed by two rakat, and so on. And when he feels that dawn is approaching, he should offer one rakat. So all the rakat become bitter, become odd. That means you can pray as many as you wish. Later on, have a one number, an odd number, so that everything becomes odd. So, as far as the number of rakats are concerned, you can pray as many as you wish. But as far as the practice of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is concerned, this mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of Tahajjud, Hadith number 1147, the Hadith Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, she says that the Prophet, while offering Qiyamul Layl in Ramadan, used to always offer 11 rakat, not more than 11 rakat. And this is to do even other months. That means eight rakat of Qiyamul Layl and three rakat of Vitar. So it becomes eight plus three, 11 rakat. And there are various other hadith which always say that all the hadith that we find of the Prophet Muhammad whether it be Sayyid Bukhari, Sayyid Muslim, all of them said that he prayed eight rakat or this 11 rakat. 11 includes eight plus three. And further the same hadith of Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of Tahajjud, Hadith number one, one, four, seven. He has Aisha Milla with her when she says that the Prophet always offered 11 rakat in Ramadan and even other times. And she said that he used to offer four rakat. And I cannot narrate to you the time, the beauty, and the length of these rakat. And it's true, again, offer four rakat. And I cannot narrate to you the beauty and the length of these four rakat. And then he used to offer three rakat, indicating eight plus three. But if you read the practice of the Salaf al-Salihin, of our predecessors, of the Sahabas, the Tabain, Tabi Tabain, we find from records that they prayed 11 rakat, some prayed 13, some prayed 19, some prayed 23, some prayed 36, some prayed 39 rakats also. And if you read the Musannaf Ibn Abi Shaiba, volume number two, page number 165-166, it says that the Tabain, when they offered the Qiyamul Layl in Ramadan, which is known as Tarawi, they offered 20 rakat. Some place it says that they offered 36 rakat. So as far as the rakats are concerned, as the Prophet, the call, the commander of the Prophet was that read two rakat, two rakat, two rakat, two rakat, as much as you wish, then one. And as I mentioned earlier in Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 472, volume number one, you can read as many rakats as you want in two to two and then one. But if you want to follow the sunnah of the Prophet, the Prophet always offered eight rakat plus three. So what is permissible? As many as you wish. Eight, 10, 20, 36, no problem. And then followed by three with her. But the Prophet offered eight plus three, 11. But you can offer as many as you wish. Well, of course you've mentioned that one could pray as much as you like in terms of uh, the number of raka, um, but the sunnah is eight. This is what you've said. That's it. The Prophet offered eight. Alhamdulillah. But he permitted you can offer as many as you wish. Right, right. So as many as you like, but the sunnah is eight.